Hello everyone, Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review slash recap of Superman and Lois uh, Season 2, Episode 4, The Inverse Method. Um, this show stars Tyler Hoechlin as Clark Kent slash Superman and Elizabeth Tullock as Lois Lane. So uh, this is going to have a little bit of spoilers, uh, especially for the last few episodes. I'll try not to go too much into spoilers for this week uh, unless I, you know, I'll do it towards the end. But uh, this show continues to be like between this and Peacemaker is just like my favorite two things in DC right now. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff, and and especially for a CW show, which you know I don't want to I don't want to crap on the CW, but uh, after a while, like after, after a few seasons, as good as the, the shows have been, like they lose a little bit of steam. But Superman and Lois just they just continue taking it to the house. Uh, so in this specific episode, uh, we have a few things going on. Uh, Lois and Chrissy, uh, who is the, the reporter, they, they both work at the newspaper in Smallville. They go on a mission to find Lois's sister, Lucy, um, from that cult that was set up in the in the previous episodes. Uh, Jonathan and Jordan become more and more unsettled as Clark's painful visions continue. So this is a very, uh, what do you call it? That was a very loose summary. There's still a lot more going on. There's there's many, many plot lines, so I'll kind of go in my um, in the order of interest, I guess that to me. So I'll go from the least interesting one, which is still pretty good, uh, to the most interesting one. So uh, the first thing I'll say is the the story the story with Lana as running for the mayor. I think it's. I feel like it's running a little long. I think that's my one issue with the CW shows is that. Because they have, you know, 16 to 22 episodes to fill in, they got to throw in additional stuff in there. And as much as I like those characters, if the stories don't really align with what's going on with Superman and or Lois or, or the family, like it's a little bit more difficult for me to be interested in what's going on. Uh, so I'll leave that one at that. We'll see how it plays out in the rest of the season. Uh, maybe maybe it'll finally everything kind of get tied in together. Um, next, we have the story with the... We have a little subplot now with uh, with Jonathan. He he has been his girlfriend. Uh, he found out that he she she I guess she sells like this this drug, which I'm assuming comes from the ex Kryptonite mines uh, because you know the other guy that's a quarterback. He's been getting stronger, and she mentioned that some of the kids that it, they get different side effects, but they all seem to be variations of Superman's powers. So like one girl that took the drug, she got like she could hear very far away, uh, which feels like that's kind of the shit he wants to get. You know, his rival, the QB rival, like he got the he's got he's very strong now. So like it really helps him with the quarterback stuff. Jonathan gets the microscopic vision uh, after he takes the drug, which also helps him improve being a quarterback. He's able to see where everything is. And uh, but I feel like we're going to have some side effects from that. I will say if this uh, storyline leads to Jonathan getting powers, I think that'll be great. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Um, Jordan was a little bit more on the shelf on this uh, episode. Uh, but, you know, like I said, I think the the kids are an integral part of the show for sure. So next we have the cult story. Um, yeah, I mean, weird. I, it's weird to see that in this iteration that Lucy Lane has been part of a cult and Lois kind of uh, made an article to to get the cult, you know, like get them shut down. Um, it's interesting to see a problem where Superman can't really just interfere and like, you know, punch the problem away. Right. This feels a little more complicated than that. Uh, so I'm intrigued. Like I said, I, I think uh, uh, Elizabeth Tullock does a great job as Lois Lane and the actors that plays Chrissy also really like I really like that Lois has um, like her own Jimmy Olsen I would call just you know uh, to have a comparison with Superman uh, so that story is still playing out it's still in the beginning phases I think I really I, I do like the villain uh, Allie I think that's her name uh, or yeah the antagonist I would say um, and I wanted I do want to see more of the relationship between Lois and, and Lucy um, I remember when Lucy was introduced in Smallville. Uh, that was a very interesting character. So I think, I think Lois, uh, any storyline that involves her family directly, 
um, it really makes it more interesting because it's not something that, you know, she's very capable at her job and, and even doing stuff to help Superman. But I think both Superman and Lois, their Achilles heels is, you know, their family because it's not something they could just kind of do away with, you know, it's which, which makes it for a more compelling uh, show. Now here's comes, I guess I would warn you here with the spoilers a little bit more than the normal. Cause I will talk about pretty much what happened. So if you haven't seen this episode, go check it out. It's really cool. Like I, I'm really, really digging this season. Um, so, all right. You had your spoiler warning. Um, yeah, we, we got more fights with Bizarro. We get two fights. Uh, Bizarro shows up. He was in the fortress uh, or in the Arctic. Uh, there's really, I really want to know what that necklace is. The, it's definitely very different. Although it's, although it's an homage to the comics where he wears the Bizarro number one um, necklace. It's definitely very different. It's something that uh, somehow connects him and Superman. So it'll be interesting to see what that is. Um, but we got a fight on the farm. Uh, where John Henry Iron, like John Henry, has to use the hammer to kind of get them separated, because Clark, every time he fights Bizarro, like he is not having a good time. Uh, then he finally gets some help from the government, even though they've been at odds. Unfortunately, the government sends the the Superman of America, which is you know the the kids that they've been training, and they call them kids because they're very young uh, compared to well. I don't really know the ages of anyone, but compared to Superman, they're supposed to be a lot younger. Uh, <clears throat> so we see that Bizarro quickly, quickly gets rid of two of them, uh, like almost off screen. Um, and then one of them, the one we met last season, who was a friend of Jordan's, uh, he's the one that gets away. He does take the necklace as Bizarro and, and Superman are fighting. Um, John Henry has to come save Superman in the... like. This really cool location of the salt flats in in Bolivia. Uh, it's a really cool place, a really cool background. I thought it was a perfect choice because you can just kind of make it, you can shoot it all green screen, I guess, and just kind of interpose, and it'll still like because it's a salt flat, it'll still look like it's supposed to. Uh, so yeah, they have a big fight, and and John Henry gets really hurt, but Bizarro loses his pendant. He leaves, uh, so Superman has the job now to go back and, and you know, tell Natalie the bad news. So so that's kind of where we leave everyone. Uh, but once again, episode four, um, The Inverse Method, another great episode. I'm really enjoying, really, really enjoying this season. So if you're not caught up, I recommend you check it out. You can watch all the episodes on the CW app for, for free. Um, you just got to sit through a few ads, which is usually how I'm watching it, either that or I DVR, but there's commercials either way, so it'll depend. But uh, let me know what you think of this season. Uh, are you enjoying this? Like I said before, I think Superman and Lois and uh, Peacemaker are my two favorite DC shows right now. And they, they're they both of this quality. Like, they're very different, and they all have their good points and their bad points. And I think they could kind of take – they could learn from each other. And we would have even better TV. Um, so, but yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. Uh, we have hit our goal of 500, 500 subs. Uh, we thank you for that. We will have our our old boy stream uh, at some point in the future. So stay tuned for that. Uh, hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Sundays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. And stay tuned because we have more comic reviews, TV recaps, trailer reactions, movie reviews, all that stuff coming up in the channel and soon also our community tab. So if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. So thanks for watching everyone. Bye.